Sky Mobile sponsors the transfer window on Sky Sports News. We're going to go live to the Sheffield United training ground now. Tim Thornton is there and has a special guest alongside him. Tim. Yeah, transfer deadline day. We have a Premier League boss with us to talk transfers. And it's been a pretty good window, hasn't it? Paul Heckingbottom for Sheffield United. Not without its challenges, but another signing in today. James McAteer, a player you know very well. Yeah, definitely someone, obviously, where we kept tabs on. There's a, a lot of uh, young loan players from big clubs who we had to keep tabs on, but well aware that it usually comes down to the last last couple of days when um, the top six sort of do their business and then that funnels down to so the release players. So, yeah, we were in the hunt for a few of them. We, we've got Maka, which we're delighted about because he knows us. Um, he was keen to come back to us, which says a lot. And uh, he's keen to improve further. So what we can offer him different this time is the Premier League. Um, but he knows that he'll be he'll be pushed along the way. And yeah, I think it caps off what's been a real yeah, tough window, hard working window. But I think we've done some good business in it. Luke Thomas in yesterday as well. Another with Premier League yeah. experience. How helpful is that? Yeah, it is helpful. Uh, he's got good quality, good left foot. Been here before. Again, determined to to stay in the Premier League and really wanted to come to us. Obviously, our hand was forced a little bit through injuries in, in that position and you sort of changed our strategy a little bit and we've used the domestic loan um, on loop, but we're happy with that. We're happy with the quality we've brought in. And again, I think one of the main factors for us, and especially when you're a manager, is, is someone's desire to come and play for you, which was, which was big in getting that done. When you've lost a, a couple of big players, as you did in this window, how difficult does it become? Does the pressure really crank up to get the right players in? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think what's changed for us is obviously our resources kept changing. So we weren't really looking at players um, of a certain transfer value, if you like, at one point. And we were looking to fill the gaps where we lost the loans and where we let players go. And we needed some good characters as well as some good potential for us to, to try and develop. Uh, we lost two big players, which we knew was a possibility. Um, not ideal, but then again, that changed our resources and we went and recruited really, really well. And I think, in my mind, it's allowed us to get a bit more control over any future problems we may have with players out of contract. So we've got a lot more players now under contract. We've lowered the age of the squad again. Um, another big concern of mine were the characters that we lost and we've tried to recruit good characters as well as good players as well. So, yeah, it's been a challenge. It's been hard work and, and everyone's been, yeah, uh, foot to the floor, if you like, for the full window. Um, and it's coming to an end now and, we, and we're really pleased with, with what we've done. We've kept our nerve um, yeah, and kept calm when others might not have, when they've been talking about Sheffield United. So, yeah, we've given ourselves as, as good a chance as possible to, uh, to attack the rest of the season now. And we're a few hours until the window closes and looking at you, you look incredibly relaxed. Is that a nice place to be at as a Premier League manager? I presume now with business done, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Listen, I'm not relaxed till it, till it closes because the only way it wouldn't be it is if someone comes and buys one of our players, which, you know, we're, we're all on the same page there. I've just been on the phone to Prince Abdullah there. We're, we're happy, we're content with what we've done. Like I said, we, we've all worked really hard. So, yeah, I, I'm hoping that's it for us. Um, listen, we'll, we'll be aware of what could potentially happen in the next few hours, but hopefully we've, we've done all our business. And like I said, we just look forward now when we go and attack the rest of the season. And it never stops for a Premier League manager because you're the early kickoff mm. tomorrow against Everton. All the preparation done. How much you're looking forward to that, and how big will it be if you can get that first win on the board? Yeah, we we're delighted that you know we've like I said the windows closing and, and we've done all we can. I think it's important, and the challenge is when the windows going, and we we have had to work hard. We've had to work really really hard. Um, and and from my point of view, I love being on the grass with the players, and it's certainly compromised what I'd normally do. Um, so for it to be over is good for me, but we've made sure that the focus from the staff, the players, has not you now faltered from what is a big game for us tomorrow against Everton and, yeah, an opportunity to try and get off the mark. OK, we wish you well with that. Well done in the transfer window and thank you for joining us yeah, on Transfer Deadline Day. That's the Sheffield United boss joining us live. A transfer window that has had its challenges for Sheffield United, but a couple of big signings in in the last two days and it's certainly ended on a high for them.